On March 6th, a man by the name of George Shaw passed away. Shaw was not claimed by any family or loved ones, so the funeral home where he is in Dutch Fork reached out to the public to help put this man to rest properly. Because not only was he a citizen of the Midlands, he was also a United States Coast Guard veteran. He was a homeless man. I'm not sure where they found him or what the circumstances were, but come to find out, um, they do research and they found that he was a he did four years in the Coast Guard. Michelle Carpenter is a retired member of the Coast Guard and saw the news about Shaw on Facebook. After serving 21 years, she says there's a special bond that forms between veterans. A camaraderie thing. You, you see a veteran, um, especially your own service, um, that doesn't have a family and he's being buried. Without question, you, you, you kind of have to go to it. It's kind of an unwritten rule. Um, you got to support your, your service as well as the other services. Um, we're like brothers and sisters, kind of. Um. Carpenter says she didn't hesitate to make plans to attend. It's my duty, almost. I, it's almost a duty. Um, you have to, you have to take care of your brothers and sisters. And he was a coastie at some point. And once a coastie, always a coastie. Um, so uh, it doesn't matter if you're retired. If you just did two years, if you just did four, we're going to support you. For Street Squad Irmo, I'm Emily Carell.